please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Jorge Martin has warned Ducati that he will look elsewhere unless he is promoted to the factory bike next year. Martin narrowly missed out to factory Ducati rider Francesco Bagnaia in the 2023 MotoGP Championship battle and, as a result, will spend this year at Pramac racing again. But, armed with his status as last season's runner-up and among the favorites for glory this year, he is eyeing up other factory opportunities for 2025. I see myself as an official rider in 2025, he said to Europa Press. If not at Ducati, I will look for other options. Martin insists that no time during the year did he ask for a promotion from Pramac to the factory squad, until he began to move the option in the final stages of the season. It had been reported previously that, if Martin won the championship, a contractual clause would have automatically taken him onto a factory bike, even as early as the postseason test in Valencia. Instead, Inia Bastianini will continue alongside Bagnaia in red this year. My main goal is to go to Ducati but, if it can't be done, I'll have to look at other options," he warned. There are many factories that are making big steps, we'll see what the best option is. Martin insisted, I'm happy to continue at Pramac, it's the best place to fight for a championship. Most riders on the grid have entered the final year of their contracts which means that, by this summer, negotiations will take place to potentially totally restructure the rider lineup for 2025. He reflected on his runner-up finish last year, I'm satisfied, very happy. It has been a year to remember. Obviously it wasn't the result that I wanted, having it so close, but I am very proud of the year that we had. I give myself a high grade because finishing second today in MotoGP is not easy at all. On the other hand, Marc Marquez has spoken about his experience of riding a Ducati for the first time. New Year's Day marks the first day of Marquez's contract with Grazini Ducati, after the expiration of his Honda deal on December 31st. He shown at the postseason test on a Ducati for the first time but was not allowed to speak about it until January, when his switch to his new team became official. I was nervous and there were butterflies in my stomach, Marquez told DAZONE. Even though I have been in the championship for many years, it was a big change. But afterwards I stayed calm, relaxed. I made the day calm, relaxed, trying to understand myself with my new technical team and with my new motorcycle. In the end you jump onto the champion bike, so it's in your hands. The first was a day of adaptation to the positions. We changed things, because on some I don't feel completely comfortable, but the speed was there. I understood the bike and how to manage things. I still have a lot to learn, maybe not to go faster, but to be more consistent and much safer. Marquez hinted about his Honda, I don't like to compare motorcycles, especially in public. It's a different bike, with a different riding style. You jump onto the champion bike and it's in your hands, because there are many riders who go fast on it. I was able to adapt faster than expected because I immediately felt very good. There was a lot of feeling in the time worked out without exaggeratedly looking for it. In the test, at the end of the day we were able to put on new soft tires and I also felt good. There are things to understand at the level of positions and communication with the team. It is logical because I have been working with the same group for 11 years, but they have received me very well. It is all very pleasant and this helps me be more relaxed. The official presentation of the 2024 Grazzini Ducati team will be on January 20th. Marquez will return to the track on February 6th to 8th for the setting test. He will partner his brother, Alex Marquez, this year after making one of the biggest moves in MotoGP history. Marquez, the eight-time world champion, quit Honda after three years of injuries and underperformance from his bike. On the other hand, Valentino Rossi's bewildered reaction to seeing his first-ever Yamaha has been described. The MotoGP legend's switch from Honda to Yamaha in 2004 is among the biggest rider moves of all time. Although he would become iconic for his glory alongside Yamaha, at the time eyebrows were raised because he was swapping a title-winning bike for a machine which wasn't competitive. Honda wouldn't let him test his Yamaha at the 2003 postseason test, raising the expectation levels even further for when Rossi could finally get his hands on his new bike. I remember the first time we saw the Yamaha up close on the night of Dunnington in 2003 when they left the garage door open at midnight, Rossi's friend and right-hand man Uchio Salucci told Sky. Vale and I left the motorhome like two secret agents, black sweatshirts, be careful.
When we opened the door there were all the Yamaha bosses inside. Davide Brevio, Masahiko Nakashima, and Carlos Cheka's bike were there. When I saw it I was speechless, but because it was a very ugly motorbike, poorly made, full of cables lying around, very crude. We, on the other hand, were used to seeing the Honda every day, which instead was a masterpiece of technology. I remember that Vale looked at me and made an expression like saying, God damn, have you seen what kind of bike it is? And I lowered my head as if to say we'd talk about it later. When we entered the motorhome he said to me, F asterisk 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 Uchio, it seems 10 years behind ours. I told him that that made no difference, everything else made a difference and that the bike would grow in hurry with people like him, Brivio and Masao Furizawa. I maintained my position also because now. When I think back to these things, because every now and then it happens to me, I think that we were young. We were 24 years old, we were tough at that time. Famously, Rossi would win his first race on a Yamaha and would capture the championship in 2004, winning consecutive titles with two different manufacturers. His move to Yamaha, and the decision to quit Honda despite winning the title, went against all logic at the time. When in 2004 we went to Yamaha there was great instinct, if we had followed the reasoning we wouldn't have gone there. Why leave a winning bike like the Honda to go on a not winning bike like Yamaha? At the time it was crazy. At that time we weren't happy anymore and we decided to leave, but very openly. As we were, playful, expansive, cheerful, we didn't feel at ease and we left. We talked about it just a short time ago on holiday, when we spent a few days together. And he told me, only two idiots like you and me could give up Honda to go to Yamaha. We still think about it every now and then. Salucci's deep understanding of his friend's psyche was a key reason he was in favor of quitting Honda for a new challenge. At that moment I pushed like a beast to go to Yamaha, because I knew that if Vale didn't have any more fun, then big problems would arise, he said. In the sense that, like in South Africa which we lost to Okawa, we started to not have the right feeling, the concentration, the right approach. And if you arrive at the races like this, even if you are the strongest, the others will beat you. We were taking that path there, we were going slower and we no longer had that great desire to go to the races. So it was time for a change of scenery and I must say that Davide Brivio, together with Lynn Jarvis and Furizawa, did a perfect, but not insistent, I would say elegant work of convincing and then it went well. Fortunately we were right to change the scenery.